Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 58, verses 1 to 2 and verses 9 to 11 from the Passion Translation and it reads as follows. God's justice, you high and mighty politicians know nothing about it. Which one of you has walked in justice towards others? Which one of you has treated everyone right and fair? Not one. You only give justice in exchange for a bribe. For the right price, you let others get away with murder. God will sweep them away so fast, they'll never know what hit them. The godly will celebrate and triumph of good over evil, and the lovers of God will trample the wickedness of the wicked under their feet. Then everyone will say, there is a God who judges the judges, and there is a great reward in loving God. Family, that's a pretty deep portion of scripture right there. But isn't it so true? I want to encourage you to go and read the entirety of Psalm 58 in your own time. However, for the sake of time, I only shared these five verses. And I particularly like the way that the Passion Translation puts it. And isn't it so true? We're seeing this more and more in this day and age. We're seeing more and more corrupt politicians. We're seeing more and more evil politicians leading their countries in evil ways, approving evil plans and schemes and laws even that approve things that God don't approve. And that's not what God wants at the end of the day, family. These leaders are leading their country in an unjust way. And what does it say there? God is going to sort this out, family. God is is not mocked. God is not God is not happy with the way that they're leading. God is not happy with the way that they're leading the country. And all authority is God-given, family. The people that are in power are in power for a reason. And And if they're being evil, if they're being corrupt, they are being unfaithful. And God is not mocked. He will take them out, family. What does it say there? It says, God will sweep them away so fast they'll never know what hit them. So family, it doesn't help for us to sit here and complain about the politicians and the politics and the state of our country and all these kinds of things. Complaining helps nothing. As a matter of fact, complaining actually makes things worse because the Bible says life and death lie in the power of the tongue. So if we're confessing negative things, if we're confessing death over our country and all these kinds of things by saying how hopeless things are and all these kinds of things, family, we're confessing death. We're confessing negativity over our country and we're just giving the devil more power to use these people for his evil schemes in the earth. Instead, family, we need to pray for our politicians. We need to pray for our leaders. We need to pray for our country and we need to confess positively over it, irrespective of what's going on in the economy, irrespective of what's been going on with lockdown and the recent lootings that took place and everything that's going on, family. Don't confess negatively over them. Confess positively over them. Pray for our leaders. Pray for this nation. And you will see, family, is if, if we as born-again Christians all together united, get down on our knees and pray for this nation. God will turn things around, family. God is not mocked. It says there, God will sweep them away so fast they will never knew what hit them. The godly will celebrate in triumph of good over evil. Isn't that what we see in 99% of movies, family? Good triumphing over evil. It's not just a concept that is applicable for movies. Family, it's a concept that applies throughout the Bible. If you go and read the Bible in its entirety and it's available to us today, we will triumph of good over we will be happy and rejoice and celebrate of good triumphing over evil if we do our part family to get down on our knees pray and confess positively family if we do these things it activates god it activates the angels to go to work and sort these things out to sweep those evil corrupt politicians off of their feet, out of the way, and to replace them with good and godly leaders, or even do a work in their heart to turn them from their evil and wicked ways, to turn them to the Lord family. We need to pray for a born-again president, a born-again cabinet, born-again politicians that aren't corrupt, that are following the ways of the Lord, that put the will of God above their own will, and even above the will of this nation family. Those are the kind of politicians and leaders we need to be praying for. And as we do that family, we will see good triumphing over evil. It goes on there to say, and the lovers of God will trample the wickedness of the wicked under their feet. We will trample the the devil. We will trample his evil plans, his evil schemes, his evil people under our feet in this nation as this nation becomes great, as this nation becomes whole again. But we have to do our part, family. Stop complaining, start praying, and start confessing positivity. And it goes on to say, then everyone will say, there is a God who judges the judges. There is a God. They will say there is a God. Look at what God has done in South Africa. And if we do this in South Africa, family, and allow God to transform this country, 
country, the rest of the world will look at us and say, wow, there is a God in South Africa and they will see the changes in this country. They will see the 180 degree turn and they will realize that God is good, that God is powerful, that God causes good to triumph over evil and they will praise the Lord for it. And it'll and they, people will also say, there is great reward in loving God. There is great reward in following God. There is great reward in praying to God, family, but we need to do our part. Stop complaining, start praying, and start confessing. And if we do this, family, we will see God do a miraculous, mighty work in this country. I want to encourage you to do that. Do it as yourself. Do it as a church. Do it with your friends and family and encourage others to do it and watch what he will do. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word and the promises in your word. We thank you, Lord, that we can stand firm on these promises, believing and knowing, Lord, that you are true to what you've said in your word. Thank you, Lord, that as we humble ourselves, get down on our knees and pray and confess positivity and confess life and your will over this country, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are turning this country around, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that good will triumph over evil, and we thank you, Lord, that the rest of the world will see the there is a God in South Africa, a miracle working God, a God who turned this nation around as we as Christians get on our knees and pray and trust you to do a work in this country. And we thank you, Lord, that we know that you would do it because you are faithful. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.